Whether we know it or not, we're all manipulated, programmed, and brainwashed right from the start, right from the day we're born, by family, by press, by radio, by television. Hello. So from the 24th of July, uh, and it's the 19th now, we, the general public, are um, expected to wear masks when we enter a shop. Hmm. Of course, the um, the shop assistants, uh, shelf stackers, checkout people, all that, they don't have to wear masks. So, again, there's no logic. There's no logic in the distance these little in, invisible um, viruses can jump because in some places it's the social distance is two meters some places it's six foot and some places it's three foot um, if you work in an office you don't have to wear a mask even though you'll be mixing with the general public um so again no logic whatsoever now if you've done uh, just a bit of looking into this uh, virus you will probably have um, come to the conclusion that there is no such thing as a virus. No, no virus has ever been isolated in a laboratory by scientists. However, the, the main bulk of people working on this are um, funded by, guess what? Yes, Big Pharma, the drugs companies, um so it's just like really being in the dock yourself and being your own judge and jury um that would never be corrupted now would it so <clears throat> now of course if you've done just scratch the surface of this uh bullshit um you may have come across the, um, the smart um, theory, you know, there's a theory for <coughs> the shape of the earth, which is illogical, impossible, and ridiculous, that of the sphere earth. Well, it's very similar to in, in, um, in any way you can't actually see, you know, you can't get the, the microscope down to that level or whatever, or we can, we've reached the level that we can see and that uh, there are no um there, there's no evidence that the the stuff that our bodies emit um are one alive which they aren't and two they are viruses which they aren't so what they are actually are and look this up are exosomes because periodically our bodies need to expel the toxins which have built up maybe modern lifestyle creates more or adds more to us and therefore we have to um, remove them and our bodies of course are incredible machines and just about every possibility has been um, reckoned for. So when we are, um, when our toxin, le toxin levels become um, possibly harmful to us, or just before that, they are um, expelled by a process which we now call the, a cold or the flu. And that's all it is. 
if you read accounts of people on their own or even a bunch of small bunch of people going to places where um no man has been before that in that's in their mind and they can be there for six months and suddenly one of them gets a cold two of them may get a cold where did that come from if it's only passed through uh, humans then nobody could have caught the cold. So uh, it's it's within us. It's within us all. I think I maybe said this before, but I uh, maybe said a great deal of things before. I don't care. Things have to be repeated for them to um, hit the target, maybe. That's what the mainstream do all the time. So um, they've got all their bases covered because they've got the, a great deal of power in the media. So anyway, um, I went to see a doctor. Um, I can't really tell you what it's about just yet. I will, I will. Um, but it's nothing rotten. I'm fine. It's nothing... Um, Pressing. So she wanted to see me over the phone, and I said, "Well, I don't do that. I you know I'm, I don't like the telephone. I don't have a mobile phone anymore. I'm not going to. Um, I, I don't want my interview to be conducted over the phone. It's just unnatural to me." So then she suggested we meet in a, um, a place, like a surgery or whatever, and um, she said, I'll be wearing a mask and um, a visor. I said, oh, really? I said, I won't. And anyway, when we met, I explained to her that um, it, 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 um, the, of course, I didn't believe all this bullshit and... Um, she sort of her face, not that I could see much of her face, just her eyes, but she um, looked quite alarmed um, because after all the media has been pumping this bullshit out, you must have believed it. No, of course not. I don't really listen to any media or watch telly or anything like that. So, um... Not that I'm missing out on the information, all I'm missing is the propaganda. So then I, I can't remember exactly what I said, but she, the re reply was something like, oh yes, I know, we've all got it. Well, that's from a doctor. So we've all got it, apparently. But what we have, well, we haven't got the virus. What we have got is a fantastic creation in our body and that um, if you look after it you know like anything if you have a car and you don't look after it it's going to fuck up just like your body just like my car actually but uh, the point is there is no virus the human race has is weak. It succumb to the propaganda. What agenda uh, is up their sleeves? I don't know, but it's going on now. So this mask affair, okay? We we are. Um, we are looking at illogical, ridiculous, and totally unsci scientifically unsub unsubstantiated um, reaction to um, <laughs> nothing, nothing at all, apart from what's in the public's mind put there by the media. Right. Sorry, that was a bit uh, uh, of a mess. But. We are now supposed to wear masks, and again, all the 
credible, smart, intelligent people know that wearing a mask is useless. In in the mainstream um, uh, uh, media, sorry, oh, yeah, in the in the mainstream um, theory, um, the the virus is very small, very small. So the mask wouldn't do you any good anyway. It's, um, I've heard it described as try, uh, using a chain link, chain link fence as a mosquito net. Plus the hazards of wearing masks are um, quite real, unlike the virus. And it is, you know, I've pe heard people say again, it's a, some kind of satanic um, ritual that uh, they've got us all doing. Now, yes, yeah, sat satanic rituals do exist. Satan doesn't. Just like um, there is some kind of creator, has to be, but it's not a Christian god. Now you can worship anything you like, call it anything you like, and maybe the creator or creators are forgiving and think, well, you know, they've got that wrong, but they're worshipping me really, or us really, and uh, do they really need or want to be worshipped? Uh, I'll let you decide. But um, the points I'm trying to get across here is. The mask wearing is um, has been brought in at a point where the virus is supposedly now non-existent or very, very, very rare, very sparse, hardly there at all. It's not there at all, at all. But uh, the gullible public are policing people without masks uh, now anyway the sort of stern looks that you may get so what is going to what's what's it going to be like when it's obligatory supposedly now just a, I'm nearly finished just a short um, story of me just recently in a shop in a supermarket and asked well two people who work for the supermarket who were there in the aisle and I was saying, could I speak to the manager? Because I want to um, tell them about my situation and, and be allowed to come in here and buy my supplies without wearing a mask. Um, and there was a man and a woman, and the woman said, oh, I know what you mean. She wasn't wearing a mask, but the guy was. Oh, I can't wear a mask. And, and, and I really, um, I said, Quite a, a few porcupines, actually. But in order for me to get what I want, I will tell lies whether whether necessary, just like they are doing to us, by the way. So double standards? Well, not really. Um. So the kind gentleman went to see the manager who was very busy apparently couldn't see me and um came back with a reply as to the question which was could i come in here without wearing a mask because i've got a medical problem with a mask and they said he said sorry well they haven't really made up their mind yet i think in other words that's the waiting for some official bullshit to um, grant them um, rules according to people such as me, maybe. But uh, uh, but anyway, so we'll we'll just see what happens. But this is outrageous. It's outrageous to work to force people to wear something, a face mask that is absolutely no use whatsoever. <sighs> When I was, you know, ripping ceiling downs, Latin plaster ceilings with a jemmy bar, you know, 
well, like you probably don't know, but if you do, you you will know that it's her an horrific job, lots of dust and muck. And for that job, I occasionally wore a mask. Now, it, when I wore a mask, I would take it off, and there would be a great black line down here where I was breathing. I wasn't breathing through the mask, by the way. When you're working hard, you can't just lightly breathe. You've got to gulp huge volumes of air. Now, that could not come through a mask. Um, and I don't think it would. You couldn't get enough air into your lungs through a mask. So it's not going to go through the mask. And I don't care how tightly it fits around you there. Those paper ones are rubbish. They might keep some muck out of your lungs. But, you know, when, when you're building or working in dusty places. But they would never stop a virus. Now, the one of the uh, arguments for wearing them is if you sneeze, you don't infect anybody else. You won't infect anybody else anyway. But um, nice, eh? Sneeze into your mask. Lovely. So anyway, a great deal of bullshit has been flung around and um, it's up to you to see through it. And if you can, you probably feel like me, very frustrated and sad that people believe this bullshit. Right.